Hi everyone. So today, which is what, August 3rd or something, 2019, the ham radio um, outlet gave me a call over here in Anaheim and told me that the FT3D was available. And here it is. Uh, first thing I noticed about the box, there's no dash here. That's kind of interesting. Okay. So I only have another radio to compare it, the VX6R in the terms of boxes. They seem to be kind of like the same size. The only thing different is the back. That's kind of different. Okay, we'll compare the radio a little bit later in terms of uh, the size. Okay, so... I've never had a FT uh, 2D, and if there was a 1D, I didn't have one. So let's open this up. You've probably seen this before. I haven't opened it, so we'll be both surprised. Ooh, very nice. Manual, I like that. That's pretty cool. Definitely, I'm going to read this. Actually, I lied. My friend does have uh, an FT2D. I've seen that, but I don't, I don't have one. Okay, so you got your radio. Pretty lightweight there. Okay, uh, what else? You have your battery, which is over here. Huh, not bad. Your power. Curious if that could be used on the VX6. Uh, I want an adapter. Okay. I need to get out of the box, I guess. I don't need the adapter, actually. Then uh, a USB cable. That's interesting. Don't know anything about that. What else do we have here? Ah. This is definitely better than the um, VX6 because I think this one opens up that's the clip and then a rubber ducky ah one thing about the rubber ducky mm, you probably can't see it but uh, the pin is there so that means I can use my antenna my diamond antenna on this radio I would imagine right this is the um, Diamond SRH320A, it's tri-band for the Yaesu VX6. Okay, so we take it out. Wow, interesting. And look at that. <laughs> mm, wow, well, let's put the battery too. I know that you're supposed to put the clip on first and then you can screw on the clip first and then you can put the battery, but you can do that later. Snaps really nicely. Look at that PTT button, mono, that says T call, SQL, power button. Interesting. Uh, micro SD card. That's going to be neat. Data port, I guess. I heard that people liked that it's uh, two plastics here, two rubber plastics. A mic and an external. Well, that's interesting as well. Okay. And here it is. Well, this one has the clip, so it's lifted a little bit, but you can see move uh, this out of the way here you can see that uh, the FT3DR is a bit taller but believe it or not not as tall look at that wow 
And there's a lot of technology in this. But there is a big difference. I think this one is, what, almost 12 years old in terms of technology-wise. Interesting. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, lightweight. Let's see. Let's compare it with the phone. So I have a, uh, I think this is an 8, iPhone 8 Plus. Let me take out the, okay, here it is. So there's some comparison there. Oh, actually it's August 2nd, not 3rd. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it doesn't matter, does it? Uh, well, wow, you can see there's a big size difference, of course, right? And height-wise, gives you an idea, right? Of the technology that's available. So, let's turn it on. I'm not gonna take out the plastic out yet. Let's turn it on, let's see what it says. Makes a noise. It says call sign input. Please enter your call sign. And I think, wait a minute. Yeah, you probably have to take this off, probably. Okay. Alright, there it is. You can probably touch it. Hmm. Again, I'm super new to this. Ooh. Okay, maybe that's it. All right, I have no idea what to do now, but it gives you an idea of how it looks and how it feels, specifically compared to a VX6 and an iPhone 8 Plus. And the next thing I'll be doing, oh, for the next few, um, months or weeks is figuring out how to use this beast this is definitely going to be a very challenging device it took me a little while to figure this one out pretty sure this is going to take me a little while hopefully somebody out there will give us a little bit of an insight on how to do this how to program it all right i hope you enjoyed that see you later bye bye